perfect cool so a lot of you already know me my name is shegali brahman um i'm going to be your instructor uh, and i'm also the founder and the ceo of the company i have worked uh, quite a bit of time in the mainstream industry um, I've worked with 10 plus Fortune 500 companies, including some of these government departments, uh, Homeland Security, USCIS, DHS, Federal Reserve, and, and so on and so forth. So over the time, I have gained a lot of experience, and that's why I started this academy over 2014, even when I was um, in the field, right? And then we continued, but over after the pandemic, we wanted to help more and more people. So uh, I quit my job and we are running this academy with full-time right now. We have uh, 12 plus employees. We have a big team. Um, and the goal is to get you an IT job in six months. So uh, in the market, there are many boot camps, but then most of them struggle placing people. And we were looking for reason that what can we do differently that our student gets job. So we identified a model in 2018 and we worked on it. Uh, it's a very flourish academic system within six months. And we started working on it. It includes training, hands-on, it includes labs, exercise, uh, very similar to what you do in an university. So we came up with this model and that model is extremely successful over two years right now. And here's, the, here's, a, here's a little proof. All these people that you've seen, we were able to place them and everybody makes more than 90 to 100K. And every one of their stories are in our YouTube channel. So everything that I'm saying over here is real and authentic, right? Uh, we don't make up stuff and we don't exaggerate also. All these people, uh, they come from different ethnicity. They come from different location. They come from different background. Uh, as you see, they, they also come from different age groups. They are younger, older, middle age we were able to put all of them, our course were able to put all of them into the same category. So everybody got the job uh, that they were looking for, right? So, uh, and this is exactly what we are offering today right here. The same process, same curriculum, same methods, right? So if these guys could do it, being an immigrant, being a single mother, being a recent graduate, you guys will be also able to do it if you follow through. So it's very important to so carefully listen everything that's what I say, follow everything and um, you know, and ask question if you have any. So then you can become one of them, right? One of the main reason for our job placement success rate is so high is our expert recruiters. Many companies train you well. There are many good teachers, right? Industry expert like me, they're, they're way better than me. So they really train you well, but then having a good, strong recruiting, recruiting team is a blessing. Over the time, since I had my corporate connection, all of our instructor does have corporate connection. We have built a very strong recruitment network in USA. We work with 2,500 recruiters every day, and this is our expert recruiters. And within them, um, you know, we have resume experts, we have uh, recruiting managers, uh, screeners, resume setters, um, so all of them. So it's a teamwork. Uh, so ba basically all together, this recruitment team is an asset for you. That's one of the reason our student after graduation, they don't have to wait a um, long time to get a job. These guys got them covered for their job marketing. Um, I would like to talk to you about the potential of an IT career. Many students are here today, F1 students who recently came to US with, with the American dream or you know, with a big dream to be successful. Now, career-wise successful, right? And let's talk about the potential of IT career. We live in an era of technology. Um, but I don't wanna talk about technology. I wanna talk about industry. I wanna talk about businesses because that's more important to get uh, to know about the market. Then you will see how, where you will fit. So I would like to show you these Walmart and Amazon example. Who is bigger now? Amazon. 
Are they the same kind of business? Yes. They do exactly the same kind of business. The only difference is Amazon is online. And Amazon became the largest shop in the planet after uh, during pandemic because it let people shop online. It doesn't require a physical presence, a physical store, right? Versus Walmart, they are also the largest you know, retail store, a supermarket of the world, but they have physical stores. So in order to have a Walmart, if you wanna become an owner of a Walmart, you need to have a store, you have to rent, you have logistics, you have employees to manage, you have shelves, right? You have shelf to manage, you have um, supply chains and all these, right? Versus think about Amazon. If you wanna be a store owner like Amazon, you don't need any of them. Your store is your online shop. Now thousands of people will be shopping there every day, right? So what do you need? You don't need employees. In an in a Walmart store, if there is 10 employees to keep these store clean, look good, shelf are organized. If there is 10 employees in a Walmart, if you're into an Amazon model business, online model, you don't need those 10 employees, but you need QA engineers, quality assurance engineers, some sort of system engineers who will be knowing how to manage this online site. At no reason, we don't want the Amazon.com to go down. If Amazon is down for one hour, millions, hundreds of millions of sales will be interrupted. So Amazon doesn't want employee like Walmart to clean and organize the shelf. Amazon one, system engineers, QA engineers, other engineers to maintain the server, to maintain the data, to maintain the software, all these. So this is a digital shift. So when business gets digitally shifted from physical to online, your jobs also get shifted with that from digital to online. So here's the thing, that's the point I want to make in, the world is shifting toward online and digital, right? Now, the next point, if you know all these logos, I'm sure you all know these logos, you know, what are they? They are the top 10 companies of the world. And you know why am I showing you these? Because they're all in US, most of them. Eight of them are in US. Actually nine of them, except for TikTok. We have PayPal here, we have Google here, we have Meta, Facebook here, we have YouTube, we have LinkedIn, we have Amazon. Out of all these 10 biggest companies of the world, number one fact is all of them, nine of them are in here, eight of them, are technology centric. They don't even have a physical store. Gone. Tell me if I'm if I'm wrong. I mean, Google. If you work for Google, do they have a shop? What kind of employees Google has? All engineers, all business people, right? They don't have anybody to work in their shop. Amazon, LinkedIn, Facebook. So you are going to make a career into these top trendy domain. If you are not in US, if you were somewhere else, I would have thought about a different career. But you are in US, we dominate the world in technology. We dominate the world in online businesses. All of them are here. That's the potential of an IT career you're going to make. So get very clear of it, right? Uh, whether after this course you become a BA, you become a QA engineer, maybe not, maybe you become a BA, you become a scrum master, you become any of these relevant, co-relevant role that you choose to make a career with, all of them are somewhat IT positions. So there is no point of eliminating IT. You cannot say I'm an MBA, I am mass communication, so I don't need to know IT. Somehow when you make a career within these organizations, it would be somewhat an IT career. Um, another top reason why I like to uh, like the QA career, because guess what? All these that you see in the pictures are combined together our industry, right? Banking sector, every bank. I worked for four banks, top ones, JP Morgan Chase, PNC, Capital Ones. 
every bank that you see in the United States will hire queue engineers because they are dominated, they are functional by their softwares. I don't even remember when is the last time I actually went to a physical bank. I do deposit through my apps. I do withdraw, I do Zelle, I do transfer. I get my paycheck directly deposited to my bank. So even though I do banking, but I don't go to a bank, that's the lifestyle we're having. So the bank is banks, the financial institutes are the most potential to hire a QA because they use tons of softwares and networks and systems. And they need to make sure these softwares are working every day. That's the job for Q engineers. So does the government, every government, let's think about the, uh, the immigration portals, right? USCIS, I work for them. Um, everything that they do, everything that you submit, you submit through online. And they go through a different system, from there goes through another system. It's everything automated. It's everything, you know, systematic where it runs. So they need to make sure the systems are working. If the systems are broken, anything broken there, you wouldn't get your green card on time, right? For example, I'm saying, think about airplane. You book flights online, you book hotels online, hospitality, high tech, we talked about it already. Every industry is your industry once you do the QA training, once you do the any software side of the world training. Right? You're not specific to an industry. Let's think about if you're a nurse, if you're an accountant, if you're a nurse, then you are fixed with the hospitality industry. You cannot bounce back, bounce around and shop around. But as a QA, if you become a good QA engineer, you really can. You can work for the government, you can work for bank, you can work for e-commerce, automobile. You know, recently one of my uh, students got a job at Tesla. Last week, someone's got a job at Tesla from our academy. So think about how cool is working for Tesla and then a bank and then, um, you know, any other, like, like maybe a government. So you have this flexibility. And the best options, best option, all the QAs work from home. Every person that we have placed um, over last year, I would say 98% still work from home. They make over $100,000 from home. That much of the potential IT career is in QA. Now, a lot of people don't get this seriously. They take it for granted. They take it like, oh, there are jobs available. I'll get one. You can truly get one in six months if you follow through the instruction. It's not going to be easy. I'm not here something to sell you an easy course. It's going to be hard. It's engineering. We're going to cover a full stack engineering. Uh, in a moment, we'll talk about that, right? So this is our academic style. We have a campus in New York. We have a campus in uh, LA. We will have physical classes, but then we also offer online classes, right? A um, lot of people are not comfortable with online, but I've never had an issue with any of my students uh, because our instructors are super professionals. Um, you know, so, you know, either way, you can take physically, you can take online. Uh, this particular batch will be held in LA campus, but then remote options are always there. So anybody could join online. Well, that's enough talking. I think let's, let's talk about the course. We will be covering all these 16 business cards. You know, all these 16 cards are 16 pieces of different technology. In order to become a QA, as a manual tester of early stage of QA, you just need to learn first five, six of them. But then we are giving you all this additional stuff because it is a full stack QA engineering course. Now, you might not know about the agile software development, Jira, Selenium, Java, TestNG. You might have a lot of questions at this moment. I'll be answering all of them, all of them. It might not make any sense because you don't know IT, right? Most of you are from non-IT non background. That's okay. Just get this in your head that we have designed it. There is nothing that we have left behind when we, when we thought about what should be included in our curriculum to make you a very enhanced QA engineer. So nobody can reject you, reject you for getting a job from six months. 
everything is in there, right? That's why it is often the best QA course in the United States, engineering wise curriculum, right? So uh, most importantly, I would like to talk about our process and that's the innovation in our academy, right? We're gonna go through a six step process. It's very similar to an academy, an university. When you do the masters, you go through all these. The only difference is you have to you have to study here. You don't probably study there. You just follow the instruction, uh, attendance, and assignments, and all these, and you get the mark and you get the degree. That's not the case here. The case here, you have to study ten hours a week. So, the step number one would be start with a career counseling which I'm doing today. And then we have three career counselor. You can get in touch with them and have a one-on-one -on -one session and set up a roadmap that this is my roadmap. I'm going to get a job in six months. Somebody comes to me and say, I don't have six months. I need to get a job in three months. What can you do? So someone wants to get a job in six months and someone has a year versus somebody wants to get a job in three months. These two are not the same case. I can't give them the same medicine. Someone, someone wants to get a job in three months, needs to be more aggressive. So we have solution for that. We have extra videos, notes, curriculum, whatever it takes, right? But you have to sit down with the career counselor and have a roadmap ready. And this is my project plan. Six months, I will be quitting what I'm doing. From the month seven, I need to get an IT job. So having that set, in our academy actually helps our students to have a clear direction. Uh, so that is gonna happen at some point in next few weeks. And uh, then course enrollment, I think a lot of you are already going through the process. Uh, we have an en enrollment agreement and you have to make uh, you know installments, payments, whatever the, the model we have. And we have different discounts for different uh, reasons, right? So we can talk about it more. Uh, and then we do start the class. So it's going to be every Sunday for this batch. It's going to be every Sunday. 6 p.m. LA, Los Angeles time and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is Michigan, New York. Uh, uh, I mean, Eastern Standard Time. So 6 p.m. is the proposed time for LA and 9 p.m. for New York. I don't know where you are located. Maybe you are in a different time zone, but that's the 6 p.m. PST and 9 p.m. EST. Once a week, every Sunday, it's going to be an instructor-driven class um, where you, we will spend three hours of lectures. Lectures are very uh, collaborative and communicative. It's not boring lectures. Our instructors who we will be providing lectures are all managers and above, okay? So they are very highly qualified, passionate. Uh, so they will come with real life examples. They will sometimes show their projects, what they do, um, you know, and you will be get to seeing that, right? It's not a PowerPoint lectures like your, like your, you know, university. It is a real life work. So you need to see the code, right? So it'll be more toward the hands-on work. Then, we have included few group presentations, study uh, week, and many other homeworks, assignments, and all these. And finally, you have to do, end of these, you have to pass through an exam, final exam. And this is the uh, live online class and labs will last you for three and a half months. It is the whole lectures. And there are four different coordinates into our curriculums. I'm going to go over that. We have manual testing, automation testing, database testing, backend testing, web service testing. These are the five different coordinates of software engineering. And we will be learning once at a time, all of them, but we'll be learning how to do QA, how to do test. So all these will happen in three and a half to four months. Then what? Then if you pass the exam, our academic counselor will approve you that you passed the exam. You will be moved and put on into an internship. And it is an unpaid internship for two weeks. It could be lasted for a month. And if you pass it through here, 
we will give you an internship letter. Many international students are here. You will be able to um, apply for CPT with that. But that's a different discussion we're going to have toward the end. But this internship is not a class. It's a real internship, meaning there will be a real manager or scrum master, a project manager working with you. And you'll be working two weeks on a real project of a software testing project. So basically, whatever you have learned here, now you need to apply that in here and perform based on that. Then only you can move ahead. Once you successfully complete the internship, then you move ahead to the interview preparation. And we have a separate team for that. And the goal here is to, now that you have learned, now that you have performed, now let you let get you prepared for the real job interview. So when you come here, we will be helping you to prepare your resume. We will be building your online portfolio. We will be building your LinkedIn connections and everything else that you need. So that is your setup. We will set you ready for the job interview. Then we will prepare you for the job interview. Once you come over here, we have a Friday sessions. Every Friday, it is a separate interview session that happens. And uh, there will be many people in the market when you come here, right? Looking for jobs. Everybody's taking interviews. And everybody's writing down what questions they have been asked. So every Friday, the group gets together and come up with all the questions. And our instructor, interview instructor, will help you to organize those answers. So what I see, if you do the course here, and if you do the internship and you come here ready, if you spend like a month here on those sessions and do your study on your own, you become the job ready. And there is no problem with your job placement. It doesn't matter whether you are in CPT, whether you are an OPT or H1 or any sort of EAD. Maybe you have done asylum, maybe you are a grid guard. Doesn't really matter. The matter is they need people. They have 40,000 job opening. And every job, QA job, depends on the interview. They don't see your anything else. They see your year of experience and interview. When we create your resume, we like to show some experience in your resume. So do we fake it entirely? No, we don't. When we don't do anything that is not, that is uh, above the boundary line. What we do, we bring some of your real experience. Maybe you work for a bank, but not in IT, but maybe you work for Verizon. You use their software, but not as a QA. But we try to adjust those experience in your resume and try to show like, at least you have three to four to five years of experience in the industry. And we try to draw a connection uh, that, that we don't, without crossing the border, let's put it that way, we will talk more about it. But we have a way of doing it. That's why we are extremely successful. Everyone's getting job, right? If you've seen that, you go to our YouTube, you'll see that. So we're, we know what to do in here. So what my point was that your interview and your resume is the most important thing in the industry, not your degree, not what university you went to, not you know how many, how much grades you have. None of these matter. Nobody gives a damn. I've been a hiring manager for the last eight years. I've hired more than three, 400 people in my life directly. I've, been, I've taken six, 700 interviews, maybe more, right? And it's coming from me. When we get a resume and we see that GPA four, three certificates, four certificates, you know, it gives me a little extra advantage to, you know, call you for an interview. But then again, here is a guy with the certificates, five certificates, two PhD. And here is a guy with no degree, six years of experience. I interview both. I would ask them a separate question, write down three lines of Java code, write down three test cases. That guy struggled with three PhDs and this guy gave me all the answer. I would go and hire this guy. 
Definitely. I would not go for these because it doesn't matter. It didn't bring any value. When I hire you from the next day, I expect you to add value in my team because your payroll is running, right? And I'm responsible. So in the industry, hiring manager always thinks about who's going to get my job done versus these, right? Uh, so there is a huge gap between academic style of uh, academic qualifications of computer science grad versus what industry needs. Where academy stops, that's where industry starts. So there's a huge gap. I'm not even getting into this conversation. It's going to, a lot of people might not like it and it's going to be a huge topic, but that's the truth. What you learned with your computer science degree or any other degree is good for many reasons, but not for a lot of corporations to hire you. You need to gain skill. You need to be able to do it. So the point is, when you go through these, keep that in mind. It's not a hard subject, QA, but you need to be able to do it when somebody is asking you to do it. It's not going to be a conversational thing. So as you see, that we prepare you all these, we make you the job ready. And then we give you uh, to market your resume to our job marketing team. And I showed you, we have internal homegrown team. Uh, there will be one person assigned to you as a point of contact. So you would never feel lost. You never feel like, oh, who am I going to reach out to you? Many, many boot camps, many academy, they don't have this recruitment support. They gave it to third party or they just put you online. So people wait, 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 and they kind of feel lost who to contact, who to ask a question. That's never going to happen. Customer service is one of our uh, strength here. And we have four recruiters. You will have one. You'll always have communication with them. Once you get to the market, let's say you've done the course, you've done the internship, you've done the interview prep, you're ready for the market. Our team is trying to set up interviews and you are doing interviews one, two, three, four. If you can take 10 interviews, one will turn into a job. That's guaranteed. I'm talking about final rounds of interviews. So there are a couple of rounds. So the final rounds, if you can take, if you could go up to 10 final rounds, normally once one turn into a job. Now, what happened after you get an offer later? After you get an offer later, they will come to us and verify your work experience. And we also support you with this. Because the way we prepare your resume, we show that you are our employee. There are many things that you might uh, wanna know in details, but uh, which I would also like to explain. You can ask this question during your one-to-one -one with your career advisor, but we have a way to verify you. We have a way to authenticate you. And that's the only way you get job in IT as a $100,000 startup job, right? It's based on your experience. Uh, so I think that makes sense. That's a lot of information for now. So the whole process includes six months and that's the program we have. That's why we're able to cater everybody with, with a successful $100,000 job. Now that we talked about all this, but we didn't talk about who are the QA engineers, right? Let's talk about that. We talked about industry. We talked about banks using software, high tech. We talked about many different insurance company. They also use softwares, website applications. Who makes those applications? Let's say I am a new insurance company. I need to sell my policy to my customers. What am I going to do? Am I going to, who am I going to go to? So every company have software development team. Any software, it could be a website. Website is also software, right? Apps, mobile apps, which you use on your phone or tablet. That's also software, different kind of software. So there are many kinds of softwares. Software that runs on your TV, Netflix, for example. Software that runs on a car, CarPlay, for example. These are different kinds of software, or it could be a simple website, www.amazon.com. It's web-based web software. Whenever anybody needs to build a new software of any kind, 
they need a software development team. So who do we have in a team? When we are talking about a team, it's not just one person. There are many different roles. And if you see in this picture, you will be seeing that a team is working together. And that is a real picture what I've taken, uh, I think many years ago. And you see that it's a whole bunch of teams with a lot of stickies. So what do they have? They have a business analyst, which is this guy. This guy grab the requirements from the client who is actually the owner of the software. So this guy is called business analyst. If you want to become a business analyst in a software development team, you can just study for business analyst and become a business analyst. Now, what's the role of a business analyst? Is to maintain the client relationship, maintain the communication, gets the requirement, understand what software the client wants to make. And then create documentation and then communicate that with the entire team. And who do we have in the entire team? We have a designer who is gonna create a visible design of the software. And then we have developers. These guys are programmers. And then we have QA engineers, us. And that's what we're talking about. So we are part of the software development team. Is there any software development team in the world without QA engineers or testers? No. So why so? Because QA stands for quality assurance. When do we have to assure the quality of a software? When we build it. It's the same time. So software development is not just one thing. Somebody designs, somebody develops, somebody tests. That's the rule of any development. And business analyst BA tells us what to develop. UX designer designs how it'll look like. Developers actually develops the product. QA tester actually tests to see whether this developer has developed as for the design and the requirement. So we are a very important and valuable role in the team. Until and unless QA tester or QA engineers verifies the software that you, the team, the team is building is going right. Until, it, uh, until we verify the product you've developed is right product, nobody can give this to client as, as it is done. So we have, a, we have a little bit of power in there, right? Now you might be thinking, hmm, okay, so that's easy, QA testing. Um, are they even engineers? What do they do? It is a totally separate team. A lot of people might be thinking, why cannot the developers do the testing? Because developers have a different mindset and industry don't want that. Industry want developer to develop and tester to think from many different angle and see what could be wrong and looking for problems within the software while the product is being developed so they can fix it. If you can identify any problem, let's say I'm building a house. If I build the entire house wrong and you come back and tell me the, the house you built is wrong, it's not what I want, and I have to break the entire house. I'm wasting a lot of money, efforts, time. Versus when I'm building the house little by little, every room, I have a bunch of engineers who are doing the measurements where when I'm if I'm building it right. If anything go wrong, you immediately tell me, hey, that window that you put on there was wrong. So I can fix it. So that's exactly the role of a QA engineer within a software company, within this team. We will be checking for defects. We will be checking for problems. We will be checking for any issues, bugs, et cetera, et cetera. But then in order to do it, we need to learn those tools and technologies. We need to learn how to work with the software team. We need to learn what, you know, how to review the requirements. We need to learn how the design works, what question to ask. We need to learn technology, how development works. And then we need to work how to figure out our defects. That's going to be the study in here. 
for this course. Software QA is extremely important, extremely, extremely important. If we don't do QA properly, if we don't assure the quality of a software, what happens? People die. Yeah, people die. Look at these. 2019, Boeing aircraft crashed due to a software bug. So go learn about the story. That many people died because of a software bug. So what happened? They upgraded the body of this plane, but they never upgraded the software code. So when the pilot was flying the plane, it was going, the nose was going down, but the sensor that communicates the information between the sensor and the, the, the pilot's dashboard, that's the software, right? The pilot didn't get the readings that it was going down by the sensor. The data wasn't communicating properly due to the height increasement of the flag. So when pilot realized the nose was going down, it was too late, people died. Boeing could have, you know, when they increases the body, they could have tested the software properly, then it works before it goes to the real world. That much of, you know, important it is. Uh, Equifax, one of the credit union hacked, got hacked. Capital One got hacked, data breach due to the software defects. So one data breach could be the end of the big billion dollar corporation. They don't want that. They want to assure every bit of testing is done when the product is being developed. That's why there are tons of QA jobs are available. Okay. That's the potential field for you to get in. 40,000 jobs. As far as my, um, my knowledge is concerned, there are 40,000 jobs. I want to do a live job search. And um, another reason a QA engineer makes about $100,000 in approximately. It could be more or less depending on where you're located. Uh, there are a few career paths in QA, even though we are saying QA engineers, QA engineers, but there's not one level of work. There are four or five different levels of QA engineers. First is manual testing. These guys are basically easy to get in, first level of QA engineering. You don't need to know any codings. Uh, basically, I give you a pen to test. You're manually performing all the testing with this. No tools, uh, no codings, no automation, no programming. Salary is about $80,000. And then QA analyst. And these guys are a little bit of analysts, right? So you know how to do the data testing, the back end, front end, you understand all these, right? A little next level within the QA career path. The salary is approximately 90,000. Then it comes QA automation engineer or full QA engineer. And these guys are four to five years, mid-level experience guy, and who knows all those stacks of cards. And the salary goes above 100,000. And then there is even a next level of SDAT, the salary goes 150,000. And uh, sounds too good to be true, right? I'm sure it is. Uh, so I have a couple of links for you here. Let's see if I can find it. A lot of people join from LA. So I kind of knew that people will be joining from LA. Let me allow some people to talk, but don't talk right now. I'm just going to bring you to the talking mood. So you can ask questions later. Please mute yourself. Please keep on mute. Don't unmute yourself. I gave you a mic, but don't unmute yourself right now. When we do the Q&A, that's when you do unmute yourself and ask all the questions. Okay. A lot of people join from LA and my international brothers, students, brothers, and sisters, you guys will be amazed by how much a QA engineer makes. 
2022 QA engineer salary in Los Angeles. In average, $113,000. And if you Google it, you know, in New York, let's see what you get. 105. I think California has a little bit of more expenses. So salary goes a little high. That's just an average. After doing this course, and you wouldn't be an average guy, trust me. None of our students are average. They are extraordinary if you work hard. Because it's not a lot of people in this country who knows what it takes to do proper QA. They're fake. We have many billions of fake people out there who have learned QA for two weeks and they pretend to be a good QA engineer. When they go for the interview, the hiring manager, somebody like me, experience figures out in seven minutes that you are, you know, you're a fake candidate. It doesn't take much. There are not a lot of good people who actually knows how to do good QA, where a hiring manager will feel safe, like, no, whatever my team doing, they wouldn't actually release a bad software to the customer and 77 people be dead and I would get call from the US Congress. That's not gonna happen. So QA is a, a place where hiring manager needs to have a lot of faith on, right? Because you guys are the keeper. So there is not a lot of faithful good people who grammatically know how to test the software. And that's the goal for you to become. I cannot teach you everything in six months. I can show you the path, I can get you started. And this course, you know, will get you somewhere. And then it'll get you a point where there is no going back. And then you have to enhance your career. But then I don't want to overpromise you that, oh, come do the course here and you will be guaranteed getting $100,000 jobs in the US. Who gives $100,000 jobs in the US? In any other position, you tell me. So that's the potential thing. My intention is to tell you this way is to get you excited. This is it. This is what you do. Okay. If you do it properly, don't shop around. Lock your mind. Whatever background you're coming from, whatever background, no IT background, MBA background, you didn't go to school, whatever, you can become a QA because they're the one only requires years of experience and all these expertise, skills, right? Because they have open jobs. You don't trust me? I'll show you. Let's, we're gonna do a job search about these QA engineer position. So I'm in DICE, right? Uh, it is the DICE.com, Indeed.com, Monster.com. You guys all know these are these job recruitment websites. So I'll go to DICE QA engineer, job title. And I will not pick a location. For now, I would just use the entire US. Let's see. Twenty two thousand QA engineering jobs are available and they are all here. You can apply for any of them. And it says remote. 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 So where in earth you will have a job that you get to work from home. And that gives you $100,000. Even if you have to study two years for these nights and days, that's worth, isn't it? So commit to itself. After today that I'm showing you these, do your own researches, see if it is a good fit for you and then make your commitment to it, okay? But I want you to find out everything on your own that I'm saying. All right, now let's do manual testing. Let's say, is there a job any, as a manual tester? I do get this question a lot. Like, let's say uh, people ask me, I am not a coder. I don't think I can get the, I can learn the technical piece of it, but I can learn the manual testing piece of it, right? There's a theoretical thing, not too hard. Is there any job as a manual tester? Yes, there is always job as a manual tester, but not as many as the full engineer of QA. Let, let's do a job search as a manual tester. 
manual testing specialist, North Carolina, quality assurance tester software, remote, QA engineer. Here's a manual tester. Saying full-time, part-time, contract, W-2, all these. General responsibilities, ability to function independently as well as in the team environment. Very important. Clarity software functionality, new production releases. Develop automated testing features in Sprint. Experience in source control, experience in CI CD, seven years of experience of agile development, Java, Jira. All these things that you are seeing into these job requirements, everything is in your course curriculum. It will be covered. Hello, Momin. Just uh, make, make sure you are in, in, in mute. Uh, don't just get unmuted. Do you want me to do the third one? Let's say QA analyst in Los Angeles. California, you have job as a QA analyst, quality assurance analyst. You have these in Santa Monica, Los Angeles, QA analyst, GMP, W2, QA analyst, manual testing, Santa Monica. So is asking for JIRA, test case, agile media, all of them will be covered by this course. So that's a kind of little demonstration that you have jobs that are available. Now it is up to you whether you wanna become a QA or not. The QA has a certain mindset that is very unique. You always need to be, you need to be very analytical. You need to be, be able to think what's wrong, where the problem might come from. After I give you certain thing like Liz Penn, you need to be very observing and analytical, thoughtful. Like why the color is blue? I mean, that kind of this kind of personality you have. If you do have it, QA is a perfect career for you. There are tons of jobs. There are tons of um, opportunity in US. Going back to my presentation, okay? All right, SDET is the next level of oh, what happened? All right, cool. All right. SDET is um, software development engineer in test. That's a new sort of QA role. Their salary goes above one fifth. And it is the full software development engineer, but in test in QA. So SDET, look it up. After doing this course, you also can apply for the SDET positions. I should actually show you because it's very important. So, so one um, SDT, right? You see SDT, 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 SDT. There are many jobs as SDT. So basically, it is it is the um, it is the software quality assurance position, but there is a little difference between. Um, a regular QA and SDT. So SDT is otherwise known as software development engineer in test. Okay. So learn about it. Right. So 
learn about SDAT. So point, what my point was that after you're doing this course, a lot of people tell me that I'm not IT savvy, coming from non-technical background. So you have a different level of work in QA. Do not worry. If you're not at all IT savvy, after doing this course twice, because the retake is free, become the manual tester. Do some of the job for two to three years and then go to the level up. Do more study, learn some new tool, QA analyst, QA automation, QA engineer, SDT, DevOps engineers, even makes more money. You need to study these positions. You need to Google them and learn more about it. And QA testing is a doorway, doorway into the industry in an easiest way, right? Easiest way to start the first job as a QA and then your sky is your limit from there, from the industry. Anyways, I need to move on to the next slide. Okay, why, why us? Well, we have a lot of credentials. We have a lot of quality because we are a transparent academy that I'm proud of as an owner and founder. And I'm proud of my team also. I'm proud of my students. We don't do any under the table deals. We don't do any, we don't give our students a bindings, contracts, all this practice, income share agreements, all these craps out there. You know, a lot of you might know. A lot of you might not know. We are a very transparent academy. And the moreover, we are verified by, uh, we are e-verified. So we are authorized by immigration services as an authorized company in USA. So we operate in a very legitimate way. And over the time we have developed 2,500 corporate connections, 500,000 recruiters all over the world, but in US, 25,000 corporate connections. Um, I'm sorry, 2,500 corporate connections. Let me correct it. Um, and then we work with 120 different job portals. So finding you a job is never a problem. That's our strength. Uh, we are built over the time and our network will become your strength after you get the job. So we have changed many life. Um, in the past, this is Arafat. He was here from Bangladesh, you know, as an immigrant, of course. He didn't come here as a F1, but as an immigrant. So normally when people come here from Bangladesh, they do odd jobs and drive cabs and everything. But he did not do that. He actually um, started the course here. I don't know if I can play the video here though. My message to those people who- Right, so, and, Asha, uh, and Arafat is the lead QA in Bank of America in three years. In three years, he's a lead QA and he became an specialized on certain things, which is a five word testing. And he would be coming here and helping you as well. So we didn't just give him a job, we changed his life and now he's helping more people. Same goes for Yeldo. I would actually like to play this video because Yeldo, a lot of, lot of you are here, right? Uh, coming from different background. You know, and want to switch a career in IT and want to make money. So Yeldo came to me <laughs> a couple of years back and he said, Shake, I am in this background. Can I also do the course? I said, no, you cannot. He has, he knew no IT background. And look at his background. Actually, watch the video and then I'll talk. My message to those people who are looking to change their career. My name is Yaldo, Yaldo Turu Patton. I'm personally working as a train operator in MTA, Metropolitan Transport Authority in New York. From the beginning, I had a, a passion for this IT uh, field. I was uh, very friendly with the computers and all the software, so I wanted to go to uh, uh, IT industry. That's why I joined Transport. It's a nice experience for me. During my stay in uh, the transfer trip, 
I learned a lot about Java and uh, automation, especially Selenium. We had a very nice uh, sessions with uh, uh, very experienced uh, teachers. Yeah, I learned a lot in uh, transfer. I joined Accenture. As you all know that Accenture is one of the best companies in the world. And I have joined as a performance tester. I have been in the market for um, almost seven months. My message to those people who are looking to change their career, definitely my answer is TransferTech. Join TransferTech as early as possible. They will show you the right way to get into IT industry. My message to those people who are looking to change yeah that was wonderful i feel good <laughs> um helping you guys is sometimes easy because you guys are active students and uh you know you guys will study and get a job find out a way you know there are many ways of getting a cure jobs if you are if you're if you study but helping someone like him who's old a little bit older right uh coming from a trade operation train operator uh, and converting him into and getting him to a job is tough. You know what Yeldo text hit me the other day? If I have it here, I'll show you. He said, if you're free, I need to talk to you about my daughter. And I know why people want to talk to me for one reason, like make my daughter a QA too. Um, so he is very successful is doing the work and um go to our youtube and there are many many yeldos here yeldo is not the only one it's not a made up story just we recorded there are many yeldos here yeldo referred azi he came from dubai he was into a hospitality business we got him a hundred and twenty thousand dollar job this girl right here is from Pakistan, an immigrant who has done accounting and didn't get a good job. We got him a job. There are many examples down here. Um, learn the story of Aisha and Akash. Uh, anyways, I'm not going to go over all of these, but we have changed many lives. And uh, it just to show you, it just to give you the kick that it is possible. It just takes hard work and determination. If you sign up today and don't quit, the QA jobs will happen. And those of you are in immigration status, F1 and many others, we have also offered you guys help. And I would more likely to talk about the, um, you know, uh, Q and A session in the next half an hour. Let me finish up the course uh, curriculum here. Okay, these are some of the slides of our New York campus. Tuition, it's not a free course. Tuition is very important. The, the similar tuitions are $18,000 to $20,000 for the entire program. However, our tuition was $15,000. Uh, but then, you know, with the promo, we do offer $12,000. That's our regular tuition. But then don't worry. As you see, the deferred tuition is $7,500 and upfront tuition is 4500 but then it's basically a $500 a month installment for nine months. And so you pay only $4,500 as the six month tuition. And once you get the job, that's when you pay the default tuition, $7,500. But then we always uh, give one day, um, you know, an upgrade to the lifetime package. And we always give 24 hours to our students after the orientation. If you sign up, you get this lifetime package and you get the whole thing for $10,000, which is basically, again, I don't count the deferred tuition. That's only happens when you get the job. You don't need to worry about this, but so your tuition would be $4,000, $500 a month, eight installments, $500 a month installment. This is if only you register within 48 hours, I'm sorry, within 48 hours from today. So by Monday, if you register and the registration is simple, 
you guys will get the link. You guys will get the enrollment request and the link and the payment link. All you have to do is deposit $500. By any case, if you don't like it, you always have one week to get the refund. So you can do two classes and get the refund back. And we give you full refund. Like I said, we are very transparent. No worries about that. So this is the general, the best we can offer. And that is about 20% discount from our uh, model. But then we also offered a few additional time to time. We offered a special discount for LA and F1 students. That remains the same. Okay. But this is the average and standard discount that we can offer to all. And then certain people have uh, disabilities. We have that. Certain people are coming from military. We have that. Um, and then we have a couple discount, by the way, I did mention it. So people have different circumstances. You can always bring those uh, extra, extraordinary situation to us and we can try to get you the what other financial advantage and benefit we can give it to you as far as discount is concerned. But then think about it. If you get a $100,000 job and we do everything and you're just paying 10% at one time, that is not reasonable. That is more than reasonable, what I think. Because if you are studying here in USA, it's costly. If you go to an university that costs you like eight to $10,000 a year, but what do you get out of it, right? Uh, you know, with due respect, you need to do those academics thing, but then this is the best it could get from our end. I didn't talk about the lifetime package because if you upgraded to the lifetime package, you see everything you get unlimited, uh, which is the unlimited retake. But don't just keep on retaking it. I don't want that. I want you to do it at the first shot. But if you want to retake, it's always free. Uh, internship with real company, unlimited. If you want more internship, we can. Resume verifications, reference checks. Every time you do job verification, it is included in the course. I know agencies that charges $5,000 every time they do job verification for you because if they don't do it, you're not going to get a job. And people pay that, three to $5,000. It is included. So many other things that you get out of this lifetime package. In return, we want you to stay with us, spread the word out, Bring your friends and families, and let's make a big IT community. That's all we want. Uh, it's actually cost us a lot of money. So that's about the... Okay, so LA has a special package. We talk about it. And uh, before we go to the international students thing, let me open up for the questioning. I would like to get a lot of questions from you guys. Any question you can ask, I don't mind. Um, one by one, okay? I allowed everybody to talk. Um, don't type your questions because I don't have a moderator today. Uh, it's good if you can unmute yourself and ask your question live uh, in general. And then the international students, you guys got to stay. The first round of question will be over and then we will be going toward your questionings because you got a specific question. Somebody from the office told me it's too nice. <laughs> is that, is this recorded? Yes, I can afford this, let me know. All right, I'm ready to take the first question. Did I overwhelm you? Nobody, nobody has a question. Oh, I have a one question. Go ahead, sir. Oh, is this a hundred percent online courses or is it on-site course? Um, 
always 100% online option is available, but it this course will be mainly hosted in our LA campus. LA time, 4 p.m., LA time, 6 p.m., Eastern time, 9 p.m. Mr. Momin, where are you located? Uh, actually, I'm look, uh, live in New York, Long Island. Right. Mm. We, we have an office in New York, but this course will be hosted in LA. But you can always get help from our LA. Uh, I mean, you can always get help from our New York office. Okay. Do you have any next batch or, or for the on site class? We currently through our net through our new New York, we don't currently operate um, in house class, but in, in, in the future we will because not a lot of people shows up. People like to do the class uh, remotely. But in our LA campus, we are starting the physical classes from this batch. But not in New York, just a moment. But I think you can join the online and try it out. See how that goes, because the retake is always free. I think we do pretty good job learning online. It's not a problem for most of us. But if you are not happy with the online learning and you're not learning enough, you can join the next match when we start. Okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Question. Yes. Uh, where is the next, when is the next batch? Uh, we, are starting, we are starting this batch. Um, we will be sending you all the information to sign up. The next batch will all start right. from 15th of this month and it will be only one day class. So that's the first batch you mean? October 15th? October or second batch? 16th, my bad, October 16th. That's the sex, that's the first batch you mean? We start a new batch every month. This is the October 16th, Sunday. Ah, okay, okay, okay. October 16th, Sunday, we'll start this batch. And um, it will be from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. LA time and 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. New York time. That's what Monday to Friday? What's that? It's just Sunday, one day. It's just one day, right? Okay. One day, one day week class. So how many how many week class do we take that? Six months, the entire program. Six months? Right. The entire class program? will be 3.5 so to 4 is there, months. Is there any hours uh, allocated on that six months period? So basically, Basically, the way it works, I'll show you. I'll give you a demo, okay? When All we right. start a batch, uh, we create a WhatsApp group. Let's say July batch. All this right. is an active batch, and we have a bunch of people in here. We have 50 people. So as you see, the instructor actually gives a lot of documents, a lot of notes and everything. And we celebrate birthdays. We also create a little culture. Someone's got a new baby from the class. So it's very collaborative class, right? This is how we collaborate. Someone share, um, you know, some videos, notes, and here. We also have learning management system where our instructor will put everything in here. So you have to study about 10 hours, eight to 10 hours, apart from the weekly class. Okay. It's eight to 10 hours commitment per week. So it's it's the class is only Sunday, but then you have to work. There will be assignments, notes and everything given. Okay. On, on every Sunday, how many hours that we take? Uh, the... For the class, three hours. Three, three hours, all right? Okay. Right. Let, 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 let's do a math. <laughs> because uh, you said it's six, six months, right? So if we take like uh, a month, like, one month for four weeks it's already 12 so 12 times six is gonna be like 72 hours right it's a lot of hours it's more than right? that. it's gonna be more than that yes but then you have the you have the internship and you have 
interview preparation is more than 100 hours. So uh, my question is that internship will lead to a job placement? Yes, we would do the job placement. You probably do. How, how many percent? How many percent is the job placement on the internship? Uh, most likely, like uh, more than fifty, more than fifty to sixty percent people gets placed from our academy over the time, and that's such a high rate. Other boot camps, ten percent. All right. Right. All right. Because we have our own connections, own industry experts, and own recruiters. And where, so where you said you every month is located. I I am now in East Coast. I'm in New Jersey, Jersey City. So that's my problem right now because your host is on LA, and then we're not uh, hosting you know, in LA. We're hosting online. That's what it is. Because the the hosting, way yeah, hosting online. It, the way you need to look at it is the jobs are online, right? I've shown you okay. a few moments ago. All the jobs are remote. So you have to be able to learn these and you have to be able to communicate these being remote. I could be anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter. Jobs are exactly the same way. The first day you get an offer letter, they will send you a laptop and they will give you an instruction how to set it up. You're going to have to do it from your home. Call the number. So they, you will provide a laptop on it, you said? They will give you the laptop. I'm, I'm going to call you back. All right. And then, okay, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, what I'm saying is learning online is better because you will be able to communicate with the online team after you get the job. So it is better, right? And that will eliminate. So, all... so we are. We, uh, you, you said you. Uh, as far as I, you know, as I evaluate, we you, you use your learning is uh, LMS, learning management system. You use a lot. All right, that. let's go. We'll we'll give you all the videos, uh, all the notes, all the assignments. Everything through will be in a very academic way. Another okay. follow up question. Last last question. Uh, sure. On Sunday, like every Sunday. Uh, how many batch of uh, classes, like three batches of classes or two batches or one batch in every Sunday? For now, we have a morning batch, but that is in the midway. You can get in there. Uh, this is the only okay. batch starting on Sunday that you can get in. It will be 9 p.m. New York time, okay? So time. you can work. You all can work. You can do your day jobs and do this. And it will be 6 p.m. Los Angeles time. 6 p.m. Los Angeles time. Okay. Sure. Well, if you ask me one more question, I'm gonna have to charge you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Next person. Uh, hello, brother. This is Mujahid. Hey, Mujahid. How are you? Yeah, brother. I'm fine, brother. Uh, brother, I have a, a query to you. Like, uh, I'm a student of the West Coast University under the uh, MBA program and took my major of business statistics and data analytics. And my question is that as we are going to uh, pursue our course regarding the uh, quality assurance, like QA, and my major is business statistics and data analytics, will it be, uh, will it, uh, is there any chance to conflict to getting the uh, CPT? No. Nah. Business analytics, you can get, uh, I mean, business analyst is your sweet career path. And business analyst and QA analyst are, um, you know, complementary each other positions, right? Remember okay. that team? Remember this slide? So basically, the people you guys are in a business major, you might, after doing this course, you might want to become a business analyst. That route is also open. So business analyst and QA analyst is QA. QA and BA are very hand-to-hand -hand position. You, BA is more toward the communication. QA was more toward the searching for defects, you know, um, analytical positions. But then you can move from a QA to a BA. You can move from BA to a QA. So for you guys are, who are the business majors, I think you guys can apply for both. But I think QA goes with that. 
If you have the MBA with uh, analytics and everything, we have the QA course. QA goes with that. Okay, um, brother, I have a following question. That is, uh, whenever after doing our QA course, um, uh, if I apply for a job and if I fortunately if I got a get a offer letter, so with that offer letter, will I apply for CPT in our university? Yes, we'll help you with the CPTs. As I said, that when it comes to the internship, we'll give you an offer letter for the internship. Okay. And with these, you will get the CPT from your university. Okay, okay, okay. Thank Depending you. on your university's policies and everything. I don't know when you're going to get it, but if, you, if your university offers you a CPT after one semester, then you'll get it after one semester, right? If it offers you after one year, then you'll get it after one year. Okay. I don't know. Situation. Okay, after, acqu after acquiring this course, is there any other course about BA? Um, yes. So majority of the BA stuff will be covered by this course. It's actually not a lot of thing to learn in BA. Okay. Because it's communication centric, right? Documentation centric. BA training is a short mm -hmm. training. But mm -hmm. it requires your communication skill, documentation skill, some of the tooling skill, client handling skill. And you need to have a personality to go out and talk to the clients, things like that. Uh, majority of the stuff will be covered by BA. But then again, if you want to be exactly going to pursue a job as a BA, we can help you with the additional stuff as well. Okay. And you don't have to pay extra for that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No problem. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, uh, for uh, providing such a nice information uh, and it will help us for Thank building you. our career. Um, Go ahead. Next question. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Anyone else uh, who is not an international student and wants to ask a question? Question. Sure. Uh, brother, definitely we need a uh, laptop for this course, but do you recommend any special uh, specialist for this one or just the regular one is okay? If you, are, if you are a designer, you need a very high graphics laptop. If you are a developer, you need a super processing laptop. To be a QA, you need, just need a regular laptop, which is i7 and 16 gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. be beautiful, but if you don't have it, that's also fine. If you have like okay. iPad, but you need a laptop, of course. How? how <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Vishani Patel, do you have any question? All right, let's go to the international students. What questions do you guys have that specifics to your, uh, you know? The thing, I met many of you in LA and uh, I tried to answer the questions you guys have, uh, but let's see what questions do you guys have. Anything? I, we, would, we will help you with this course. What I've offered to you is basically, um, so this year, if you enroll into this course, we will be applying for your H1. Um, when the time comes, the due date is, what do you call, um, April 1st. That's the due date. We will be recruiting you and basically we'll be applying for your H1. If you get that, that's a lottery, you're lucky. And uh, and then with the H1, and then further you can process to the green card. And um, except for that, we will be uh, job placementing you. And if you need some extra help with F2 to F1 conversion, 
uh, we got you covered. If you need a university transfer, we got you covered. So we got you covered with all these critical logistics area of immigration. But ultimately, we can all we will always suggest you. You have to make the decision, and we would not, um, you know, enforce you to do make an immigration decision. That that is your decision. That is not part of the core intention of this course, but. As your situation demand, we will be giving you an extra help toward that. Okay, so uh, Gasoda, you are back here. Gasoda, what happened? You didn't join the last batch. Are you going to join this? How can we help you, Gasoda? Um, let's see who else is here. Uh, Kazi, Fatima, sister, how are you? You're from Michigan, right? It's probably Kazi Fahima. Kazi Fahima, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm from, I'm not from Michigan. I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, you're from Los Angeles. Did you yes. find the session? Uh, did, was I able to answer your questions? Do you have any more questions? Yeah, I got almost all of it, uh, but I was looking for a course related, more related to designing, mobile application design. So I'm a bit confused about should I change my uh, focus of the career. Well, this is a QA course, but if you want to do a web design, that's a different career itself. Yeah, I know that. And I was trying to focus on mobile application design as my career. So that's why I'm a bit confused. But there's other things related to this course and the way you are helping. These are also necessary for us. So I have well, to think look, about a lot. Look, the way I see it, the way I see it is like, I want to be, um, let's say, a big truck driver, I could start with driving an SUV or I could even start with a bicycle, right? I mean, there is always a switch up in the career. If you wanna, you need to get a job first. I think you were in F1 status. Yes. You need to get a job. And it's easier to get a job as a QA for us um, as the students. There is a multiple reasons behind it. Yeah. Right, so you need to think what's going to get you a job faster. Yes. Don't debate, deviate from your dream. You dream to be a web, you know, what you said, mobile application designer. You mean you want to be a UX designer? Yeah. UX and UI design. It is this, yes. position, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, UX designer. And UX designer will be able to design a website and it'll be able to design uh, any mobile applications and things like that. That's what you want to be. Actually, yes. you, can, you, can, you can actually get trained for that, but you have to have the creativity. But how it's, how it's getting, how it's compared to QA to getting a job, I'm not sure. There might be a lot of challenges. There are not <laughs> might be as many jobs as available. Because in yes. a team, that is four or five QAs are needed, but UX designer is just one. So the ratio, yeah. wise, you know, yeah. there's a reason why I offered the QA course to the international students. It's the doorway. I said it's the doorway. It might not be your ultimate career, but it's the easiest way to get an IT job. Because many positions are open. They need many of them in a team, okay? So again, yeah. think about your career, think about how is best fit for you and let me know. Yeah, definitely, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, um, are we, uh, we are about to wrap up. Um, we are about to wrap up. I think uh, reach out to me personally, uh, folks are in LA and uh, the offer is still on. You need to register within 48 hours. Whoever already registered, I think 12, 13 people have registered so far. Welcome on board. 
and we will be closing the batch at 12 uh, at 20. So the people who didn't get registered, you have 48 hours to get the discounted price. So where we go from here, basically, we will be sending you the link. I will send you a text message and an email. And in those emails and text messages, you will have a link and all the instruction how to enroll. And if you enroll, one of our career advisor, which is Ashraf Siddiq, um, he will reach out to you on Monday. And if you if you're done the enrollment, a couple of things will happen. You'll be added to our WhatsApp group. You'll be getting the access for our LMS and there will be uh, primary videos are in there for you to watch and uh, so on and so forth. And if you have any question, you give Ashraf a call. He's just a phone call away. Uh, and this is what exactly gonna happen from Monday. If you like to choose the next step, you're more than welcome. If you wanna talk to me, if you want to talk to any of us, I will be I would be available from Monday also. Okay, so good luck to you all. And again, I would give a few more moments for the LA students to ask them some questions that are very specific. <laughs> Hafsa Khandukar is there. Uh, for Hafsa, I'm moving this class on Friday. She's gonna hate that, right? Uh, yes, thank you. I, I'm now. I'm really happy for like all, all the whole thing because this time it's really suitable for me. As I say, uh, after six, any day I can like doing the class, but before six, I can't. So. That's the point. Now I can do my class and I enjoy the class. So I will enjoy the class. Good. Um, well, sure, good. I think I hope that works for everybody. There are still a lot of people who it might not gonna be best fit for, uh, but you know, you have to make it work. You have to make time. If you keep on working, how are you gonna make time for it? Islam, Islam, do you have any question? Okay, let's 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 hear it from uh, Salim, Sharash Salim. Are are you from Manhattan? Did I call your name right? I'm so bad at it. I'm so sorry. No, it's a. Okay. How do you say it? Saharish. Saharish, nice. That's actually a cool name. I made it very bad. Uh, <laughs> no, you did it. You did it fine. Thank you. Apologize for that. So Saharish, um, how did you hear about us from Manhattan? Uh, well, I was on Google searching for like certificates and you guys came up on the first page. Um, so that's how I heard of you guys. Cool. Uh, what do you do currently? Um, I work in a call center for Gucci, so. Nice. Do I get any discount? Of course, let me know. <laughs> uh, cool. So that's cool. Gucci is cool. Um, yeah, so I have really no experience at all in, um, you know, IT. So I'm coming from like beginner level in the sense. That's better. New shooters are always a good shooter because they follow rules. They don't <laughs> develop the, the misbehaviors. So for us, New students are good students as long as you are committed. It's gonna take six months from your life, but it'll give you a beautiful flourishing careers. So when you say you work for Gucci, do you go to their office or you work from home? No, since the pandemic, it's been from home remote. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and is it nine to five? Eight to five, yeah. Nine to five, eight to five, okay. Mm -hmm. So work from home, it's good. So. You can keep that job and do this on the side. A um, lot of people yeah. are doing two jobs. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, the, the job is fine. It's just that I, I, I've been there for so long that it's, not, it's no longer challenging. So the reason why I decided to kind of take something like this is because you, you're always learning something new, you know, every day. 
And I feel like, you know, knowledge is key in, in, this, in, in life, you know, for you to become very successful. So that's very important. Very good. As QA, you never get bored because the new defects will come, the new projects will come, the new problems will come. And team is always looking for solutions. And there's mm -hmm. always like, hey, I found these, how, what are we going to do kind of thing. There's always excitement within a software development team. Uh, yes. <laughs> once we start the class next week, I will be showing you guys the real life videos, like how team does meetings, how team uh, alarm the bell uh, during the critical situations, things like that. It'll be exciting. No, that's exciting. I do have one question though. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just to confirm, it's only once a week on Sundays and the starting time would be like Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m.? For this batch, yes. What if you can't do that time? Uh, we have other batches. Mm, okay. We have other batches, but we figured that 9 p.m. and a Sunday night is, is like everybody's available back to home. <laughs> um, okay. It doesn't work for you? No, it, it wouldn't work for me because um, um, it's, it's too late. Um, like I was hoping for something like between like six and, you know, 10 or seven and like no, I guess no later than like 9 p.m. Okay, so um, so we can put you on an August batch, which is pre class past, and uh, the classes happens at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and it finishes by nine. Oh, I have to wait until August. <laughs> I'm a little sad, but oh, no, it's, sorry, my it's... bad. September, September, the last batch. Oh, okay. So I would basically start the program in September. We started the program. One or two class has been passed. We have a class tomorrow at um, 7 p.m. It's only mm -hmm. Sunday. It's only Saturday at 7 p.m. So oh, okay. And that's still also only one day a week, correct? That's one day a week, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so to, just to confirm, to enroll in that one, I would just call the number and ask for to be enrolled for the September sure yeah I mean um, that's a good question okay um, can you ping me your number here uh, ping I'm sorry what did you say I don't can understand you, can you send me your number here send you your number here um how do you do that all right cool um i'm sorry I'm, I'm, i don't really know nothing about zoom this is my first time on zoom all right no worries <laughs> i'll give you my number you can text me on whatsapp and i'll add you to the group oh i'm, I'm actually on the group you talking about the i'm talking about the september group oh i'm sorry okay yeah that's yeah no, i'm not on that i'm october and this is uh, for everybody. Okay. This is my number. You guys don't put it on Google, but you guys can call me anytime. <laughs> okay. Don't just put it on the dark wave or something. I have dark wave, <laughs> I have dark wave alert uh, <laughs> for the identity theft, so you will be caught. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my number i have whatsapp on it i mean just do send All right. it okay 718 all right gotcha so just text and let you know that i was a part of the october uh group and i would like to enroll in the september yes okay just text me there text me your whatsapp number so i will add you to the it's, it's basically this, right? Uh -huh. like, uh, QA, oh, okay. QA batch, September 2022. I'll add you in this batch. Okay. Okay. Makes and sense. you guys will be doing the class with them. They are Saturday, Saturday mm -hmm. Eastern oh. time. Okay, that's, right. that, that works for me. That's great. Thank you. And I need to introduce you with these people, but they are good people, right? They're very good people. They're very active also. They are, they're a group of like 15 and uh, mostly folks in New York and, and many different areas. But 
they work remote and you know, they're good. The game okay. is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I have one last question. Um, so obviously being that you have been doing this for quite some time, um, being that I'm beginner, like there's hope for me to obviously learn and being that I've never done it before. I guess that's my worries, you know, because I have no background in it. I never went to school about it. I never done it before. Um, I would like to give you this. Okay, just watch this video. We're looking for this is Aisha, single mother, never went to school here, never worked in the United States, but speak decent English. Mm, okay. um, watch her story. If she could do it, uh, if you cannot do it, that's on you. I mean. Simple thing it is. It is a potential uh -huh. has 40,000 jobs open. You are a US citizen or whatever. I don't know, maybe you're a resident uh -huh. here, right? Yes. So if she could do it without any working experience with this course, technically speaking, you should be able to do it also. Just, okay. watch, just watch her story. She actually shared, it's a live. I made her to do a live when she got a job. She's also part of our uh, all student group. We have a community also where you can get help from. All these people uh, are here. Azi, like the guy who got mm -hmm. job, Aisha right here. So she's from 2019. Mm -hmm. right? They're all part of this group. You can uh, actually get help from them. Also. The, the, again, can you do it? If you could do it, I think you should be able to do it as well. <laughs> okay, what? that's that's fair. I mean, coming from someone that isn't from here and for them to pass the course. And of course, um, I'm sure it's possible for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And she's not the only one. Did you see the first part when I showed you uh, the story of many others? Yes. Uh, this is, did I show you Just Beer? Just Beer. Mm -hmm. She's 57 years old. <laughs> she's a oh, grandmother. Wow. Wow. You got to keep a job mm -hmm. in the group. So again, these jobs, the industry are dying for people, expert people. They can't find it. They, all they find is a bunch of fake people. Mm -hmm. Doesn't stand five minutes more than an interview, right? So what are they going to do? They don't, they don't look for agents. They don't look for ethnicity. They don't look for your degree. They just look for whether you are able to say the correct answer or no. If they feel during the interview that you're the correct one, they hire you. Mm. There, I feel like there's always room for growth in IT. Like yes, all the time. Yeah, all the time. So starting this is, is a critical decision for many. Um, yeah. This orientation we had like 35 people i'm sure half of them will be confused still thinking browsing that's a critical situation i cannot help but getting you started is the most crucial point if you get started you're going to end up somewhere that's for sure if you start you might not become qa but you might become somebody in it mm -hmm. getting started is a is a very important point and that's no, it is because it, it definitely is important because I, I mean, me coming from my background, I have no IT, no knowledge in IT. I try to apply for like entry level roles and I always get rejected. And I'm, I'm, and I'm just like, wow, this is insane. Like, you know, I know how to use a computer, like the, just the basics, I guess, but they kind of require more, you know, like a certificate, certificate or some sort of like degree for you to actually get an entry level role. Yeah. And when we place you after this training, we don't really place you at the entry level role. We will place you with some experience in your resume and you'll be at a mid-level role and you'll be making those mid-level salaries. So you are actually skipping four or five years. Working. And that's amazing with just six months. <laughs> well, no, well, it should take six months for a really committed student. It could take one year. For you but still 10 times worse than doing anything else <laughs> right now that's true hi valid uh, i just wanted to uh i'm sorry uh just have a quick question do you have your in-person address in la and and who's that um 
like in person address where you know you do like you come in and um, in LA. Yeah, we just we just recently opened the campus there, which is basically two weeks ago, and we our address is thirty seven one seven Westard um, Street. And who is asking this question? Oh uh, yes, this is Sonia. Oh Sonia, um, just yeah. a guess. We do have we started a campus in LA. Uh huh. Yes, now two weeks ago. And, and so this was three seven one seven. Did you say West? Westard Street in Little Bangladesh. Area, Korea town. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, All right. Uh, are, are you based out of LA and would you be interested to come there? Um, no, I am actually uh, a little bit away from LA, but I am in the area. Um, I would rather do it online only because uh, it's a hike to get to LA. Uh, but it's good to know that you are, you know, if I need help, you know, I would be able to. Yes, the campus, will be, the campus will be houseful. And because there's many international students and local people are also willing to get a job. Uh, but you will be just like, um, you know, my other students uh, who got right. job from LA. Yeah. From but it's good to know that there is uh, an in-person uh, place that I could, I could go to if I yes. need to. Yes. Thank you so much. 37, oh, 3717 West Start Street. You can Thank miss you. it. There is a big sign of Transfer Academy. Oh, okay. Cool. I will be actually, I'll be actually, I'll be there next Sunday, uh, physically and starting the batch with these people. Um, feel free to come by. Next Sunday, I'll take the class from that campus. Okay. Um, yeah, once I decide, yeah, definitely. I will uh, have to stop by just to, you know. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope it was helpful to you. It, it really is, uh, especially the internship and uh, job placements, interview, you know, all that. That is the part that I feel is... Uh, is very important because yeah, you, could, we do. you could study all, all, all year long, but if you're not able to, you know, actually get a practical job, then that's a problem. Yeah, we have the Friday session and keep goes on until you get the job. Um, that is that is very helpful. Internship is also very helpful. That's where our most of the student learns practical work. It's really, really good. Do you suggest we do some other um, kind of, um, you know, like a little bit of uh, our own research and training on, you know, Excel and, uh, um, uh, you know, Excel like online? Is, Excel is a mandatory tool for any position. Yes, you should uh, learn Excel, Outlook, how to use Outlook emails and all these. Uh, Microsoft Teams, maybe, right? Slack. It's the communication tool. Which one did you say? I'm sorry. Slack. Okay. Microsoft Teams, Slack, Outlook. These are the tools that normally everybody should know. How to, you know, how to book a calendar request and all these. How to reply an email. These are the common things you need as an, right. you know, to work as a corporate, right? Right. Yeah, but uh, there could be some some things like Slack that uh, you know Outlook mostly uh, most offices use, but not Slack. So um, IT teams would use Slack. Either it is Slack or it's gonna be Microsoft Teams hmm. or WhatsApp. I mean, there are few teams. One we use WhatsApp here, but not many teams use WhatsApp, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, WhatsApp is still like um, yeah, Slack is something that I I didn't know about so i'll look into that yeah okay thank you cool you guys are a good audience today here um awesome i think getting job is not hard uh niraz niraz are you there hello can i hear you niraz are you there uh no hello yes who's there 
Yeah, this is my uh, my name is uh, Melinda. Hello, how are you? Where where yeah. are you? Where are you from? I'm from uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. So I need some information about the cyber security. Yes, uh, I, that's what I've been um, showing you guys. But any specific question? Um, no, because uh, I'm a little bit late today. I lately joined this. So do you have any cyber security training? Oh, cyber security training. Yes, we do. We do have a cyber security training, but that is a little bit of advanced. Okay. Uh, because I am a network engineer inside. I'm working right now in New York area. Oh, nice. So I am a little cyber bit, Yeah. We are starting a cybersecurity training course from end of this month. So keep your eyes on, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you have uh, uh, that course materials or any information? Can I see right now? Uh, next cohort you have. I will give you the course curriculum. Sorry, I didn't get it. And your name is what? Malik Melinda. Okay. My name is Melinda. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? I can't hear you. Um, Any other questions? All right, so the, I think the our career advisor will reach out to you. There are a lot of people, Julia's, Brandy, um, Tahina, Kamer. Do you guys have any questions? Or you guys don't know what to ask? Uh, yes, I'm going to call you uh, one day soon, uh, as soon as possible, because I'm going to talk to you personally regarding my uh, plans. Yeah. Julius. I'm very, cool. very interested. Yeah, I'm very, very, I'm an IT guy. Uh, I was just like, I hope my, uh, you know, uh, for uh, a little bit, uh, like two years, four years. So I just shifted uh, on a QA. So I was a developer then. So I just, uh, you know, uh, like you said before, you need to, you know, uh, uh, it's just like an add-ons on my skill set because that's my lacking. Uh, yeah, I, I've never been uh, too much on the QA before, but I'm really interested in that. Yeah. Cool. So you could be an SDAT. That's like a sweet position, like I was saying. That was a sweet position. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm, I'm really likely to do that because uh, I'm also, you know, uh, uh, three to four years for law on uh, development. So I'm just, uh, you know, uh, wondering with the, uh, right now with uh, an office, uh, office works. So maybe there's a time to rebuild my career on uh these positions absolutely absolutely we can help you with these yeah you're halfway there already yeah, yeah. i'm at 12 years already on the development side so it's just a uh tail because of my immigration status so now it's gonna be uh you know uh good shape because uh i'm about to uh you know have a naturalized uh, this coming year so Right. Hopefully, I could onboard. Uh, everything is smooth, and, and then I could, uh, you know. And where are you located? What time zone? Um, uh, East Coast. East Coast. You're in New Jersey. Yeah. Cool. Yes. That's perfect. I mean, you are almost there. You were. You were just easy cup of cup of cake for you. Um, just yeah. get in, and then let's see where it goes. That's the problem is uh, uh, I have a four law of four or most of a four years. So how would I uh, fix the gap uh, on my oh, IT no, career? We take care of it. That's fine. We take care of it. That is going to be taken care of by us. We'll, your resume, your profile, we will present it in a way that it look nice. And, you know, but present right now, even if I... 
if I even if I am in a for loop like that, if you want me to code right now, I could code it. But the problem is when I get like uh, applications, I have a lot of applications, but I miss, uh, you know, things like right now it's supposed to be QA. Rejected. Right now, if you wanna be all of you, if you wanna be a QA quality assurance engineers. The coding is not your primary uh, thing. Being a QA, okay. think like a QA, having the perspective of mindset of an, of an QA engineer, having that mindset of being a keeper, having that mindset of figuring out, look through the things and figuring out the defects is your primary yes. responsibility. So there is a little bit of shift for you to do. Okay? Remember, uh, Julius, I was telling them a few moments ago that it's easier for me to train new people. Okay. Um, in QA. So they don't know the perspective of a developer. They're fresh, they're new book. So I could just teach them the perspective of QA is really different than a perspective of developer. So yeah, all right. you, I'm out to you that. <laughs> yeah, for you, uh, I've worked both sides of the world. For you would be relieving yourself off of the development role. The knowledge you have is helpful, but let's start thinking like a QA engineer. All right, I got you. Thank you so much for the advice. Yeah, and uh, but it's gonna be easy. It's not gonna be hard for you. So. Get on to the Sunday role. Uh, our student advisor will call you and have your conversation with them. Okay. You work, sign up, okay. and I would help you get a job. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I need it very badly. <laughs> cool. And your gap gap wouldn't be an issue. We'll take care of it. All right. So I think All right. All right. we are almost toward the end, right? What else? If you guys keep I'm asking, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry that I'm late early. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. I'm, you're totally fine. I'm sorry. Well, I'm a I'm a workaholic person. I do these things out of my passion. I could do so many things, but not these, but I don't know. Teaching is in my passion. And if you keep asking me questions, I'll be answering the question all night long. Galib, I have one quick question. I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to see if you would be able to send us the recorded uh session that you have here or not uh is it sonia sonia that's correct okay yeah i mean by default this session is getting recorded and it'll be sent it to you uh tonight or tomorrow morning all right that's good thank you that's good and thank we you. sent you the email we sent you also the text so that you don't miss it and you also put it in the whatsapp groups that you are part of some groups okay. right all right. Thank you so much. Okay. Doug. So can we sign off for the day? If everybody's. Yeah. Yes. I'm Thank good. You. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate so your, uh, your time and Thank patience you. for us. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay. You guys been really a good audience and very collaborative. And moreover, it is an opportunity for everybody to mix up here. I mean, we got new students, we have immigrants, we have from people from different backgrounds and different states. Eventually, we all need to make a career. And that's that's why I said we're academy, we're university stuff, that's where we be, the industry begins. Um, and it will be a pleasure for me if me and my academy can help you to achieve your career, okay? Uh, let me know, don't hesitate. All right, all right. take care, everyone, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye bye. All Thank right. You for the okay. session. Talk to, you. Talk to you later. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, feel free to bye -bye. Feel people. Feel free to give me a call and give me the feedback. That how did you like the session? All right. Always help me to improve and figure out what could have been better and things like that. You know. So I appreciate okay. feedback. Bye. All right then, everybody. Bye. -bye. Okay. Hopefully, Thank we'll see you. Sixteenth October. Yes, sixteenth of October in LA. Inshallah, we'll see where. Take care of him. Bye bye. Bye.